My name is Christopher Scott. In the series, I play a character named Copeland. He is struggling a lot with his past and, and some kind of internal demons that kind of haunt him. He's on the path to being a good guy. I think it was a hard decision for him to make to go follow the letter and, and, and let it take him to the LXD. You know, so he's dealt with some demons in his past, for sure. My background's in tap dance. I first started off tap dancing, actually at Hollywood High School. And I started to see the light and see how fun it could be to dance and sing and act. It all happened from there, now I'm a dancer. When I'm really just dancing, freestyling, and, and having fun at, at a club and the music's like blasting loud, I can't not dance. In the car, if the music's too loud, it's like I can't sit still. Behind the camera, I'm one of the choreographers alongside Harry Shum Jr. Being an actor, dancer, and choreographer at the same time, um, as the dancer, I know everything about the dance. It's like a part of me at that point. And then we choreograph a lot of the times, you know, according to the character. We're making up the dance with a, uh, like, like the characteristic of the guy. Like we're, we're rehearsing it like that. We're rehearsing it as characters. When John came to us, we were like, is it gonna be, are we gonna have superhero powers? Are we gonna be able to multiply? Are we gonna shoot lightning out of our hands? Are we gonna be super fast and um, teleport? We were kind of going with that stuff at first. Like those were kind of the ideas and we were like bouncing stuff around. And But then one day he kind of just came to us and was like, all right, look, the, the superpowers are the dance abilities. I think if we try to make a superhero power, for each one of the dancers, it's cheapening what, what we already do. And he really believes that what we do is uh, superhuman and, and it's, a, it's a power that we each have inside of us. I don't really like to put like a boundary on like what dance is. People can dance sitting down. I've seen people dance with their face, facial features, like waving their eyebrows. It's not really a limit on dance. But when you see somebody just really, just like feel the music, and just move however they want to in the moment, I think it's like the most beautiful thing. I think it's like the rawest form of art. I just love it.